Hi there folks, I just want to say before we get into this, I'm sick, so if my voice is a little off, you know what to blame. Now let's get into this. The Viet Cong was an armed communist political revolutionary organisation in southern Vietnam and Cambodia during the Vietnam War. Today we'll be dissecting the rank structure and the background of its militant force, the LASV. The Viet Cong saw the majority of its action in the field between January of 1961 and July 2nd, 1976, through the use of its military land force known as the Army for the Liberation of Southern Vietnam. The LASV forces were independent of the People's Army of Northern Vietnam, but were closely allied with each other during the course of the war. The LASV was officially recognised as a force on February 15, 1961 by Northern Vietnam. The LASV originally carried out operations to protect southern Vietnamese citizens from offensives by the Republic of Vietnam and the United States. Most early soldiers in the LASV were southern Vietnamese, however the casualties of war forced North Vietnam to provide volunteers for the LASV and as a result many people mistakenly believed that the LASV was a part of the People's Army of Northern Vietnam. North Vietnam and other communist nations recognised the LASV as the primary militant force in southern Vietnam and considered the People's Army of Vietnam to be its parent organisation. After the reunification of Vietnam in 1975, the Liberation Army of Southern Vietnam was merged into the People's Army of Vietnam in 1976. The rank of general, or Dai Tung, was the most senior general officer grade of rank. Its duties were various, from commanding an area army or an army corps to serving in the army general staff or acting as the most senior political commissar. A few notable individuals to hold this rank include, well I'm not entirely sure on how to say these names, but I will pop them on screen now. It could be recognised by four golden stars on a red background, which could be found on the shoulder or neck board. This is reminiscent of the former imperial Japanese system. Next we have the rank of Colonel General or Tung Tung, which was the middle rank of the General Officer grade of ranks. This rank was unique to Vietnam as well as other countries because it was adopted from the Warsaw Pact system and the Germanic Pact system. Its role, much like its successor, was to command either an army corps or an army division. It could be recognised by three golden stars on a red background which could be found on the shoulder or neck. Next we have the rank of Lieutenant General or Tung Tung, which is the middle rank of the General Officer grade of ranks. Its role is to command either an army corps, division or a brigade. Its role could be recognised by two golden stars on a red background which could be found on the shoulder or neck board. Next we have the rank of Major General or Tia Tung, which is the lowest rank of the General Officer grade of ranks. The role of this rank is either to command an army, brigade or a division. Can you see the similarities between the Soviet Warsaw system and the Vietnamese system now? It could be recognised by one golden star on a red background which could be found on the neck or shoulder board. The rank of Senior Colonel, or Dai Da, was the highest rank in the Staff Officer grade of ranks. Now, the role of this rank was to field command either a brigade or a regiment, or perhaps serve on the army staff. A Senior Colonel is not befitted with honours of a General Officer. It is simply seen as the highest Staff Officer rank before a General grade. In this sense, the rank is comparable to the Brigadier in the British Army. It could be recognised by one Golden Star over three Golden Stripes, or four Silver Stars over two Silver Bars, which could be found either on the shoulder board or the neck board. The rank of Colonel or Tung Ta was the second highest rank in the Staff Officer grade of ranks. Now the role of this rank was to field command either a brigade or a regiment of the army or perhaps serve on the staff. It could be recognised by one golden star over three golden stripes or three silver stars over two silver bars which could be found on either the shoulder board or the neck board. Next was the rank of Lieutenant Colonel or Tung Ta which was the middle rank of the Staff Officer grade of ranks. Its role was to command either a regiment or a battalion much like the other officers partake in administrative duties. It could be recognised by one golden star over two golden stripes or two silver Silver stars over two silver bars, which could be found on the shoulder board or the neck board. Lastly was the rank of Major, or Tiota, which was the lowest rank of the Staff Officer grade of ranks. This rank's role was solely to command either a battalion or fill an administrative role. It could be recognised by one golden star over one golden stripe, or one silver star over two silver bars, which could be found on either the shoulder board or the neck board. 
First there was the rank of Captain or Daiwei, and it was the highest rank of company officer grade of ranks. This ranks role was included but not limited to a company or battalion commander or administrative duties. It could be recognised by three golden stripes or four silver stars over one silver bar which could be found on the shoulder or the neck. The lieutenants, much like their Soviet counterparts, were split into three distinct ranks. Firstly was the senior lieutenant or Tung Lee, and then the lieutenant or Tung Wei, and then lastly the junior lieutenant or Ti Wei. The role of the lieutenants would be to command either a platoon or in certain cases a company, or act as an aide de camp to a higher ranking officer. They could be recognised by the following on screen in order of left to right. The officer trainee rank, or the Hulk V Xing Quang, was the only training officer rank within the LASV and the PANV. Much like the lieutenant rank stated previously, their role was similar to that of a junior company officer, in that they would have overall command of a platoon, or would shadow a superior officer and act, obviously, as a trainee. It could be recognised by one golden chevron on the shoulder board, or one golden bar on the neck board. <laughs> The highest rank of the Vietnamese Communist Forces NCO Corps was the rank of the Sergeant Major or Thiung Shi. This role's command was that of a junior officer, in that they would command, well, some cases a platoon, some cases a squad, and they would also be the key line of communication between the officers and the troops serving under them. It could be recognised by three golden stars on a red background with a singular golden stripe, which could be found on the neck board. The rank of sergeant, or Tiong Shi, was the middle rank of the non-commissioned officers. It did not have a select role, however, it had various ones, of course, depending on the branch of service of the rank holder. The level of command of the sergeant was over a squad of 8 to 14 soldiers. It could be recognised by two golden stars on a red background with a singular golden stripe, which could be found on the neck board. The corporal, or the Hashi, was the lowest rank of the non-commissioned officers. Its role was similar to that of the previous rank, but in that it changed to a smaller squad. It could be recognised by one golden star on a red background with a singular golden stripe which could be found on the neck board. <laughs> the private first class or the senior soldier or the Binh Yi in Vietnamese was the highest enlisted rank of the LASV. It was the equivalent to an army senior private, it had no level of command over troops and its role varied depending on the branch of service, it was really just a badge to show that a soldier had achieved something recognisable. And it could be recognised by two silver stars on a red background which could be found on the neck board. Lastly is the rank of private or bin yi, which could be translated to just mean soldier of second class. Like its successor or predecessor, it had no command over troops of any branch of service. There is nothing else to say about this rank or its command, and it could be recognised by one silver star on a red background which could be found on the neck board. <laughs>